Welcome back to Stingy K TV, man. And today I have some. First of all, let me let everybody know for all the Nipsey Hustle fans and Big U fans, this is going to be a very disturbing video for y'all if you don't like hearing the truth. If the truth hurts, I advise you not to watch this video. But today we got. Whack 100 in the hundred side. Shout out to Whack 100 in the hundred side for this fire content that they dropped today, man. And I was there. <laughs> I've been trying to catch it for so long. I just never catch it on time. I always have to react to Clubhouse TV or Clubhouse Unlocked or Clubhouse Shenanigans, Ray Give, things in that nature. So I finally caught it today, man. And, uh, some nasty work, man. So, I'm going to let y'all be the judge and decide, man. We got Eddie Boy, Loose Cannon, 600, Whack 100, just politicking about the whole situation. And I'm going to let y'all listen to it yourself, man. Here y'all go. And if you ain't subscribed, man, make sure you press that subscribe button. And if you ain't like the video, like the video and comment below. Let me know how y'all feeling about this uh big youth situation this is um any boy called me after the live I asked me for loose cannon number he called loose cannon this is loose cannon content i'm hearing it for the first time let's rock one point to go point a to point b and stuff like that but i'm just saying though brother i can't validate something that if it's, if it's a lot of noise in the background you know, and I'm not going to say you sitting there lying on him because dudes be saying, what's up with Loose? What's up with Loose? What's up with Loose? If they'll call me and be like, hey, boy, you talk to Loose? I don't even have Loose's number, bro. You know, who, I don't have that brother's that? number. All them dudes will call me and ask me about They're all of them. They're all of them, right? No, I don't talk to them brothers at all, bro. But who, who else I don't talk them? to Bear Call. I don't call the Big you, U. You I don't talk to it just ra It's just random dudes, bro. Yeah, it's but just random dudes. Okay. So I'm saying, uh, this is what I'm saying, bro. Mm -hmm. If you brothers are standing on facts and you brothers are standing on truth, I'm never going to go against that, man. And I tell dudes all the time, brother, whatever, just like with WAC 100, brother, Big U ran with WAC 100. Of course. You ran with Big You. Ran with Big U. Mm -hmm. Rose ran with Big U. 600 ran with Big U. Big, I ran with Big U. So. I know my chapter. You guys know y'all chapter, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So it's one domino, and my my domino is the first domino because he was my crime. Mm -hmm. And then after that, and then after that is you guys. So I don't know in detail what he have done. You know, I just know the the, 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 the brother six hundred. He's a genuine dude. I I like this dude, bro. Mm -hmm. He's a genuine dude, bro. You know, Raze, I know Raze since Raze was a kid. I remember Raze was a a kid, a snide those little kid running around there on Tenth Avenue because I stayed on Tenth Avenue. Mm -hmm. So I know I know Raze. And I know Raze is genuine. So when it comes down to you, and I ask him about you, I know your father, bro. I've been knowing your father before he even was from over when your grandma when your grandmother was standing at the park, I knew your father because we went to the same high school in Banny High School. Mm -hmm. So I know I, I know your pops, bro. So so if I know your pops, you his son. So I, what I do is I make sure that there is not going to be a, a demarcation line that I'm going to cross the disrespect or anything like that or be like this is this that. So whatever you're saying or whatever you got going on, brother, you ran with that brother. Okay, you that's your chapter. Mm -hmm. You know, so that that's your chapter. So I'm not gonna sit here, bro, and go against none of that. So whatever you guys truth is, is to is is the truth, bro, because that's what I'm gonna stand on. You know, like you talking about the youth, right? Mm -hmm. And if you talking about if you're talking about the youth, the youth need to know that that stuff over there, brother, is diametrically opposed to anything that's going to basically have a brother or sister elevate in life. Of course. Period. Hey, listen, I'm about to play it to you right, right now. Right now on loudspeaker because um, I had a plug in my speaker. Because 
You heard that, right? I'm gonna play it again. Yeah, I heard that. I'm gonna play, play it louder. So, like, bro, this up right now. Because I, uh, um, what up? Nothing to get you out of So, the, the, uh, you, you heard it, right? Yeah, I heard, I heard somebody say Dempsey got killed, bro, but. <laughs> and you know what, brother? Uh, exactly. You ain't gonna rack my brain. You, you ain't gonna rack my brain on that motherfucker right there, bro. You know, you know. But if you saying is if if, if if you got belief behind that man, that's that's you know, that's your push, bro. You know, just like my push is what I know he did to me. Your push is what he did to you, bro. Yeah, no. See, and is, I'm gonna keep it a buck, right? My grief with um, Big U is not about what he did to me. You get what I'm saying? Because it's like. I wasn't a, 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 a dumb nigga. I'm a street nigga, but I also make money and I, I'm very, very successful at the things I have done. You get what I'm saying? What I'm saying that what Big U do is you you already know him and Wack 100 was brothers, right? They was they was yeah, uh, tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They so was, was tight, yeah. Yeah, so when he was tight or whatever, um, basically, Big U... Didn't like that Wack didn't help him on a certain thing. So when he didn't help him or whatever with a certain situation and Wack called him to, you know, check him as a man to, you know, do things. Then it's like, fuck Wack. Right. But then when it starts saying fuck Wack, but I'm still doing business with Wack and stuff like that. Uh, uh, nephew, cut him off. I don't want you fucking with him. Matter of fact, nephew, go kill him for me. Do you get what I'm saying? That's the shit that. He he's saying and what he wanted to do, right? And then when I told mm -hmm. him, I'm like, nah, I'm not gonna do that or whatever like that. Go handle your own thing if you got something right with this man because I'm fucking with um cuz on some business shit, right? And Wack is a good nigga. He never did anything wrong to to cross me. So when I say that and I stand on business or whatever like that, oh you fucking with Wack, you fucking with the police. And then that's when me and him got a, in a sideways conversation because he told um, somebody that I was fucking with the police because I'm fucking with Wack um, about some shit. Do you get what I'm saying? When you and Wack was closer than close, but you get paid by the police. You turn in information to the police. I seen you write down serial numbers on a gun and sell them to the homies. I seen certain things that you done. You get what I seen? Um, you tell homies to take a case. Because um, um, developing options would be on the trial paperwork, on the discovery. You get what I'm saying? So really? I, I seen all that. I seen the bullshit th that he was running. So when he said that, that's the grief that I got with him. And then it's like, you know, nigga, if I have a, a situation and I told you, I said, you know, when I recorded that conversation, I know that conversation was um, shouldn't have been used or whatever. Like I was never going to use use this shit or put it out. Right? I'm not saying that he had something to do with Nipsey getting killed. All I'm saying is he knew Nipsey was going to get killed and didn't warn his little brother, like quote unquote, he said he was going to do. But then when Nipsey get killed or whatever like that, now it's like, oh. I'm the nigga, the face of sixties now. That's all, cause one. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. That, that that I think everybody on in the world was um, view that as that because it's like when they when they pass, that's when he started to elevate. That that's the only. And but when I say it, then I look crazy, right? When I no, you don't look. No, you, you don't look. You don't look. It's your. It's your delivery, bro. No, look. but how he could <laughs> deliver. He could deliver something, and and say whatever he want to say, right? Like he's he, mm -hmm. he tell Roseanne, him, right? Wait, hold on. Like, like, right. So he he's saying I got a, okay, a so, video so where he's saying Rosé when 
He was supposed to kill me. Rose, I got it on there where Rose said, nigga, I was never with you. You get what I'm saying? Like, he tried to change the narratives and throw niggas in on certain shit. That's why Rose stopped fucking with him. You get what I'm saying? Because he started lying on Rose. So it's like, you can't sit there and say certain things when you completely lying about everything that you you talk about. He he set niggas up. He do certain things, certain fuck shit, and then niggas supposed to condone that. How can you condone fuck nigga shit? Like you said, he told on you. Right? Then he tried to make it seem like you was telling on him when you was in the pen. What type of fuck shit is that? Yeah, that was some fuck shit. So you, you have to understand this, right? You think he got away with it. Right? What he did 30 years ago, right? Got away with it. Clean. You don't think the nigga's doing that still? Come on, Eddie boy. You got to be... Come on, you... you, are, you hey, look, bro. Like look, I'm not stupid. I'm not... I, listen, listen. I'm not stupid at all, bro. Exactly. And I, and I, and I see the signs. And, and when I tell you, brother, that I don't have nothing to do with that shit over there, it's because dudes know what's going on. The dudes turn a blind eye to it, bro. And that's all I'm saying. You know, that's all I'm saying. Dudes turn a blind eye to it. So my thing is that this is my thing, bro. If they're going to turn a blind eye to it, that's something they have to deal with. But now if, if it, it's starting to affect like the masses of the people and the kids and stuff like that, of course you guys are supposed to speak on that. Okay. I don't so, have a problem so, with that. So think about this, right? I told him, I said, listen, why you don't coach your kids? Why you don't give out information and stuff like that to the police? Do your job if you're getting paid um, hundreds of thousands of dollars to do it. Just don't stick your nose in hood business if you one way. You can't not set up a homie or whatever like that. He comes in and confidentiality and tell you certain things and then you send him up the river. It don't work that way. Yeah, it, 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 yes. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you why it's gonna work like that, bro. It works like that because if they trust him, right? And if you're in that field, if you're in that field where you still getting down the way you're supposed to get out, and you know that brother's position, they don't supposed to trust him like that, right? Mm-hmm. They don't post a trust him like that, bro. Mm -hmm. So I know a lot of brothers that have them type of programs, but they they but they're not a part of the hood politics anymore. And that's all I'm saying. He have to be a on. He straddled the fence. You get what I'm saying? How can you call calls and shots? yeah, you can't you, yeah yeah you can't you can't do that. But I have a like I said, bro. I know a lot of brothers, man. Yeah. that's in them type of programs, and, but and, they 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 quit. They 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 ain't not with it no more. They they base that's their job. They, they their job is to connect, brother. Believe me, bro. I, I I didn't do my homework on all this stuff. Of course, right? And I ask I ask I ask brothers that's in that stuff. I'm mm -hmm. like, what do you? What is you guys' job description? And what they tell me, bro, they have to work with them people, bro. Irregardless of what you're talking about. Exactly. You that, have to. That's what I already know. Because I, I seen it firsthand. And that's all I'm trying to tell you, Eddie Boy, is the nigga works with the police. He gets paid by the police and he does police shit. So it's like, bro, and then you can send the homie to go do some dirt or you, you want to hit the lake with the homie and you still doing police shit. It does. Make sure you subscribe, man, so you can stay in tune. We got more of that. Watch the next video.